so welcome back and this time i'm going to handle for the updates so um what we're gonna work right now is what we're gonna work right now is if you click on a rouse on site activity inside this activity you have several of the items okay several of the items okay let's say um, this one is one um, p1 um, quantity is two this one is a first item another one is um, 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 two um, p2 the quantity is um, 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 three okay this one then let's say if you long click on this one if you long click on this one sorry it's just, it's just, if you long click on this okay and it's going to pop up uh, it's going to use an intent okay it's going to use an intent with actual data which is the um, um, 2p2 and the quantity is um, 3 inside that intent and it's going to activate it's going to activate a new activity this one I'm gonna call this called update activity okay update activity okay this update activity is only a sub activity uh, only sub activity of this um, activity and um, it's going to load that data to the um, form okay with the name okay with the name is the current name okay and the quantity okay quantity is the current quantity okay quantity is the current quantity and then um, um, when you then you're gonna be able to put inside here the current name which is the current name which is okay you see um, the quantity is um, no, the um, um, names is let's say p2 okay and it's gonna place the current data here and the um, um, and the and the how to say and the and the what um, um, and the quantity is three quantity is three places here Places here. Then we're going to create a button here. We can create a button here, and this button we're going to click. Let's say update. Okay. And then you can choose the option, which is it's going to um, send back the data. It's going to after getting this one, it's gonna send back the data to this um, activity to update and load um, uh, from this activity. Or you can you can also just update it directly from here and just send OK or cancel to this. Just send OK or cancel to this. Just send OK or cancel to this one. Okay. And if you don't know about um, how to um, use intent to activate another data, send the data to it, and receive the result back, you know, please watch my um, video about intents. Okay. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So in order to do that, we're going to in order to do that we're going to uh, let's say create a new activity okay create a new activity right click on this one new activity a blank activity and this one is called the update activity okay finish okay uh, delete this one and the layout of this update activity is going to be similar to the layout of the add activity similar so i'm going to get the text of this one select all copy Okay, get to the um, um, activity updates, get to the text, select all, delete it. Uh, sorry, um, paste it. Okay, we paste this line out now and we're gonna change the um, tones. Okay, context tones. This one, the tones context now it was at activity and right now it's supposed to be update activity. Okay, supposed to be update activity, update activity. The tones context now is supposed to be update activity. It's, it's, it's for activity update. Then uh, we're going to have the designs this way. Name for the own name, quantity for the old quantity. And we're going to change them. And the button add now should be changed into add. So the button add now should be changed into update. This one should change in, into button update. And later on, we're going to call the on button update click. Okay, on button update click. So this one changed to update already, okay? Then um, what next we would like to do is we would like to um, 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 show this activity as a sub-activity of upload, 
okay and we receive back the result so we gonna get to the load activity load activity from the load activity um here i'm going to declare uh, um, um, a variable for the request id um, 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 um private private um int uh, private statics in private static finder in this one is called the um, um, uh, update request id equal to one just keep a number of it then we're going to um, um, create an intense intense okay intense intense equal to new intense okay and for this intense for this intent, we're going to use explicit intent. So we're going to specify the context is this. And the class name that we open is update activity dot class. Okay, update activity dot class. We need to access to string name equal to the cursor dot get string with the column ID number one. Okay, from the column number one of the cursor. Then string, not string, um, um, int quantity equal to cursor dot get int from the column number two column zero we already get the id then we take the we pass this data to the intent by put actual uh, the name is id is the variable id that we got last time uh, duplicate for the name duplicate for the uh, control d to duplicate okay Control D to duplicate. Um, um, uh, duplicate for the um, 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 this one is the name and duplicate this one for quantity. This one is name. This one is quantity. Okay. So these are the name that I put for the values that I'm gonna pass there. Then this one you're gonna use this dot start activity for result. Okay. Start activity for result. Okay, start activity for result. And we need to pass there the intents and the request code. So the intents is the intents over there. Intents is the intents over there. Request code is our request code is our request um, ID. I'm gonna change this one into request code. Okay, this one I'm gonna change it to the um, um, update uh, request code. Okay. So it started an um, it started an activity, it started an activity with um, 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 this request, okay, and uh, okay, then we're going to um, uh, get to the um, many updates, get to the um, um, activity updates. For this activity updates, when we click on update, we need to um, um, code the um, um, update methods. But for the update method, we need to work with the database. So we're gonna work with product um, handler. From this product handler, I'm going to add a method to updates. So public void updates um, product. Now, whenever you update product, you need to specify the ID, the string name, and the um, int quantity. Okay and the quantity um, the id is not the thing for you to update but it's a condition for you to know um, what route that you would like to update then you need to update the names this one i want to specify new name new name and quantity is going to be new quantity new quantity in order to update first you need to specify the content values values equal to new content values i already explained about content values previously You'll take values dot put uh, the um, 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 names column now should have the values which is new name. Similarly, the quantity column should have the values which is quantity. Quantity column should have the name is new quantity. Okay. Then you're gonna use the database handler db dot update it. Okay. Update uh, when you update, you need to update the table. Okay. The table is product then you need to keep the values which is the values that we hit before then the where clause okay where clause is you're gonna keep the where clause is where the id equal to the id okay and the argument is new string okay from the id which is the ids over there okay and for this id we need to convert into string this one is careful be careful we need to convert this one to string Okay, and after this, uh, your your uh, uh, data is updated. 
a bit this table with this value, value is say new value for the name column, new quantity for the quantity column. Okay, so we now we now are able to get back to the update activity. So when we get to the um, um, update activity, first you're going to first you're going to get to the intense that 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 activate that activate activated this um, activity. So you also say intense intense equal to this dot get intense and this intense is the one that you sent out here. This is the intense. Okay, which is the R that you sent out the, the one that you sent out over there. And you're going to um, 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 get the current data. Okay, so um, int ID I'm gonna declare all them outside there because I want to um, use them um, later on. Um, int ID because I want to use this ID later on. Private int ID. Uh, then for the name, I'm not gonna use so I'm gonna declare. Uh, I'm gonna put ID here equal to um, intense dot dot get um, int actual from the name is the column name is ID. Okay. Then I'm going to. And, and when you get an integer, um, you need to put a default values. What that means? Because when you get, get the extra data from this column name, okay, you may you may have a, a known values. And if you put known to an integer, it doesn't work. Let's say if you put int and x equal to known, it doesn't work. Okay, That's why you need to pass the default values. And the default I'm, I'm giving is minus 1. Then the next one is, I'm going to declare a string name equal to intense dot get string actual string actual which is the um, name is the name and this one you don't have to spe specify the default values because for a string you can store the known values okay similar you don't have um int um quantity equal to um get um um um, 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 um int uh, extra okay sorry you take the intent dot get int extra and from the column name is quantity. Then, uh, oh, it's an integer, so you have to pass in the um, 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 default values. Then the next kind of thing you're gonna be able to do is um, set this current values to the form. So you're gonna need to access to um, 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 edit text. Okay, um, um, txt name equal to edit text. Find view by id r dot id dot txt name. Okay, uh, you need to access to edit text um, um, quantity txt quantity quantity equal to uh, edit text. Okay, find view by id r dot id dot txt quantity. And I'm gonna use this um, um, edit um, txt name and txt quantity later to get the new um, values. So I'm going to copy this declaration and paste it outside here. Make it um, um, private, okay? And I'm gonna copy this declaration and paste it outside here. And I'm gonna make it private, okay? Private. Because I want to use these two components when I would like to get the new data. So remember to uh, delete this uh, declaration. Delete this declaration. Okay. Then you take txt name dot. Okay. Uh, set text to the um, 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 current name. Then txt um, quantity dot set text to the current quantity. To the current quantity. So if you run this one. If you run this one, if you run this one, let you see some code here, okay, on create. If you run this one, it's gonna, at least now, uh, if you click on load, okay, a little bit slower, wait for the loads, yeah. And if you do a long click on this, and uh, if you choose updates, Okay. Oh, it has an error. Let me see what error it is. Okay, it's gonna bring me to the um, Android. Okay, and let me see what is that error. No, it doesn't show the error. Let me let me see what that one is. Run it again. 
okay then when you see if you're in load 